Hello, Internet. Sweaty Hewlett here with another Burn and Learn. And today I really worked out my brain, like big time, almost, but maybe even more than my body. Uh, Burn and Learn, for those of you who don't know, is my bid to stay alive and healthy long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the twilight years with my beautiful and brilliant wife, Jane. Exercise is boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it, and then I share it with you. So today, as I say, a real brain workout, I wanted to learn about statistics. And I didn't want to do the full-on math stuff while I'm exercising. It just seems like a, I, 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 I just don't work like that. Um, so I look up statistics, and lo and behold, I find that they have done a crash course on it. And when I say crash course, I mean the YouTube channel crash course done by, I believe, the vlog brother, the green vlog brother guys. Uh, just always an amazing series of insights into whatever topic you want. And this statistics one is, is quite in depth and I'm looking forward to applying through more of it. I got through like the first few uh, today. But um, it really comes down to me and maybe to them about numeracy, about understanding the numbers that were being, that are being thrown at us in the news and, and in conversation and, and, and just things to worry about and things not to worry about. It's always good for me to put numbers to the things I should worry about and not worry about. You know, for example, the one I love that really stood out um, was that there's a 3.64 billion chance you know, one to 3.64 billion chance of being uh, killed in an immigrant uh, uh, terrorist attack. Um, so it's better to be on this horrible torture device, the uh, the elliptical, because there's a one in 534 chance that, that you're going to die of heart disease. So maybe worry less about those terrorist attacks and more about your your own health. Um, so just that kind of stuff. Uh, the other one is the other one that's just mind boggling is the like the U.S. debt. The debt is twenty trillion dollars. Every twenty, yeah, twenty trillion. Um, there's about three hundred twenty-three million people in the U.S., and that means that we're looking at a sixty-two and a half thousand dollar debt each, every man, woman, and child. Uh, so just breaking these numbers down into manageable chunks. It's the same thing for learning. I mean, if you don't understand something, go back, break it down, go further, keep keep going back and over stuff until you understand what's going on. And that's what I am trying to do. Um, it probably takes me longer and more more iterations to, to, to make some sense out of it. But just fascinating stuff. We even got into mean, median, and mode, which I hadn't done. Interquartile ranges and all these uh, kind of uh, sort of fascinating uh, insights into how to break down all this data that we've got. And we've got so much data. Uh, the big data challenge, again, is one of these things that's inspired me to look into this because that's this, there's patterns and things to learn in there and, and, and lessons to learn and also, uh, you know, uh, cautions about how much we should take this data seriously and what we should be doing with it. So, um, very curious to know, what statistics do you like? What are the statistics that you've heard that you find either funny or interesting or insightful or just stupid beyond belief? Uh, so until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come! Cheerio!